Hey YouTube, I'm Daver. I'm Steve-O. And we're the Fragrance Bros, bringing you another video. This time we're actually kind of explaining our channel a little bit, if there's any, if there were any uh, misconceptions or anything about the rating system and stuff like that. Just kind of clarifying a little bit about what we do and how we do it and stuff like that, just so you guys can understand a little better. One of the things we wanted to do is we really wanted to uh, make a channel for people who are on a budget. So for people who don't have a lot of money to spend on stuff, and maybe maybe younger guys, maybe people just don't have a lot of money in general, yeah. and um, just kind of go through the fragrances that we think are the best. Of course, it's all subjective, which is why we have two people here and stuff like that. But we wanted to go through and just kind of say, you know, this is a must buy, or this is just a good one, or this is not a must buy, etc. Yeah. So that's the whole purpose of it. Is is just a I, I'm only going to buy a five a five star Absolutely. and so on so anyway the first one we have is the one we always start off with and that's longevity longevity of course is how long the fragrance lasts in your skin and we rate it in uh, one of four ways it's either poor average excellent or beast and uh, beast is are kind of a rare one beast of course is going to last you know just a ridiculous amount of time mm -hmm. and I haven't come across one of those yet I know there are a couple that I want to try that are going to be beast yeah. but uh, those are going to last you know 12 hours plus stuff like that, or you know, last after a shower and stuff like that. Excellent are gonna last eight hours plus. And then average are you know, six hours and stuff like that. And then poor, obviously less than that, stuff like that. That's kind of just a general idea. There's not really a defined rule. Like I don't, I don't really kind of clock you know, how long a fragrance lasts or anything, but that's just kind of, it's kind of just you know, kind of judged by eye or by nose, really, I guess you should say. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, similarly we've got uh, Similarly, I think is what I said. Similarly, that's right. We make up words here on Fragrance Bros. We do what we want. Uh, next is projection, which basically a similar rating um, to longevity is essentially how far does the smell go, you know, before it hits somebody else. If I'm wearing it one spray, you know, uh, David, are you going to be able to smell it right here or 20 feet away? You know, something like that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, you know, if it's got poor uh, projection, then you're going to want to wear more sprays, basically, is what that boils down to. Yeah. Do it the same way with, with, longe with longevity, poor, average, excellent, or beast. Right. Anyway, the next one uh, we have is season. Obviously, season is self-explanatory, whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter, stuff like that, or any time, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. Yep. Next is purpose. Uh, what kind of occasion you wear it to? Is it going to be a good uh, everyday fragrance? Is it going to be good for work, good for special occasions, dates, church, things like that? Yeah. Uh, and then the next one we have is bang for buck, which is a new one we haven't done yet. Uh, a couple of... Uh, future reviews are going to have this. Bang for buck, we're just going to kind of say uh, we're going to judge it by fragrance net and we're going to look up to see what the what the dollar amount is on the highest available um, bottle size mm -hmm. and whether that's good or you know or whether it's poor, average, excellent uh, or whatever mm -hmm. you know and um, judge it that way and that's this again is all subjective too because prices vary and also scent varies. So if a, a scent has you know just it gets poor marks, but then it has a great price. It's going to be judged a different way than if a scent has excellent marks and an average price or something like right. that. So we're going to kind of judge it that way again. Very subjective. Yep. Um, next section we talk about is what it reminds me of. So, for instance, if it smells like uh, another fragrance possibly, or if it takes us back in time to a certain event or person or something like that, or uh, say it smells like a food or something like that, we'll kind of talk about that. Just kind of make it a little more... Um, uh, personal and also maybe more um, applicable to you guys. Yeah, we also like to look up notes, see if we can smell some of the notes mm -hmm. at all. Sometimes we'll explain things with uh, synesthesia, whether whether it reminds us of a certain texture or a color or something else, something like that. And uh, the last one, of course, is the rating system. The rating system is the one that uh, we like the best and has the most meaning here on Fragrance Bros. It's kind of the backbone of our rating system. Yeah. And so it's just a one to five star rating, and it's only whole stars. Uh, one star meaning, you know, it's as bad as gray flannel or brute or something like that. You know, it's horrible, you know, in our eyes, subjectively. Right. Uh, two is it's bad. It may not, uh, it's bad to me. It may not be a bad fragrance, but I just don't like it. Three is I'm indifferent. And, you know, I'm probably not going to ever add this to my collection. It's not, it's not my favorite thing, but I don't hate it. Uh, you know, four is I would love to have it in my collection, but it's probably not a must buy. I'm not going to rush out and go buy it right away. But it is a nice fragrance that I like. And five, must buy. Yeah. That's a fragrance that you just absolutely fall in love with. If you have to go buy it, when it, when it runs out, you're going to buy it right away. So 
And then we have other things too that we like to go through. Like my wife, uh, I'll say what if she likes a fragrance or if she hates it or what she says about it. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll ask, uh, uh, we'll ask Steve-O if, if he gets any compliments at work. I work from home and he works in an office. So we'll, we'll see what he says, if he gets any compliments from the ladies since he's single. Ladies. Or, uh, <laughs> or gets any compliments at work or if anyone hates it even at work. Right. So anyway, that's our rating system. We just thought we wanted to clarify haven't gotten any responses from it. We didn't expect to, but we just thought we should anyway and just, yeah. just say uh, what we thought about it and explain it. Anyway, just want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, of course. We love all the comments we've been getting. We love all the support that we've been getting. Uh, you guys have been just incredible to us, and uh, we've just been overwhelmed. Yeah. And uh, it's just been a great, positive, wonderful experience. We just want to thank you. We love you. We're the Fragrance Bros. See you later.